You know, we're gonna need a place for people to crash while we prepare the festival. Your place looks pretty cool. How many vacant rooms do you have for the next couple of weeks? Well, uh, it depends on how you define room. You know, how many people can crash with you? What do you guys charge? Um, let's see. Uh, it's $8 a night, but that can be for doubles. And we give a weekly discount, of course. Uh, plus the cabins, Dish. you can get cots. So four people per uh, about 150, I'd say. You can get about 200 people. Hey, man, let's make it easy. Why don't we just buy the El Monaco out for the season? Just figure yeah. out the cost, write it down, we'll take a look. And if we don't use all the rooms, you can rent out the free ones. We need to keep some cleanup crews around afterwards. If you got some bigger spaces for offices, that kind of thing, we need to put in some phones and have some space to park vehicles. You know where we're going? Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Looks like we can work with this, Ellie. Cool. Ellie does this summer festival. It's never big. Local bands play. Um, it seems that there maybe would be like, oh, some theater, some theater. He likes theater. And then in the paper, the people who are organizing Woodstock, it's reported that they've lost their permit. And he realizes, oh, yeah, I, I have a permit for a festival. And that's a festival that needs a permit. So he calls the Woodstock Ventures office and then says, yeah, I have a permit. You guys need a permit. And then, boom, brings him here. His property's really not workable and ends up bringing him to Max Yasger's property where the festival takes place. The prodigal son returns. Well, you know. I didn't quite, you know, go. <laughs> I got it. I'm happy to see you, Elliot. Come on. I want you to meet some very, very groovy people. You gave them the hash brownies? They told me you said I should. How many? Four each. My baby! film is that this was a beautiful thing that happened. Woodstock was an amazing time and an amazing place and the movie's really about the healing power of that kind of energy, that kind of love, that kind of goodness, that kind of um, good-natured um, is healing for everybody and makes everybody's life better and makes the world a better place to live in. Um, you know, it was the music and the peace and, and um, the love was like the magic medicine for all these different people in the film, you know? I think it will live forever, the legacy of Woodstock. Um, the spirit is wonderful. The care of peace, love, music, and how we live with our environment and other fellow race and countries and cultures. All that seems to be naive spirit uh, is our savior. We must not lose it. We must always remember. We must never get cynical about it. Uh, we have to keep it alive.